Hi guys, I'm Steve Sandler and today I'm going to show you the non-invasive stability margin uh, tool for the Copper Mountain Analyzers. I'm using a Copper Mountain S5048 here and I'm connected to a PicoTest VRTS3 demo board and you can see the two P, uh, PicoTest PDN cables there. Those are connected to the 3.3 volt power plane and of course this is a two port shunt through measurement that requires a ground isolator and there is the ground isolator. We're using a, a J2102B. And if I look at the computer screen, well, there you can see there's the impedance. Uh, right now, I just pulled the power out. So there is a resonance at high frequency. And that one's due to a trace on the printed circuit board and one of the decoupling caps. And at the lower uh, side of the screen, we can see the bulk caps and the ESR. Uh, but watch when I plug in the power. Okay, now we got a new peak that developed, and that is the one that we're going to use to measure stability. Uh, the software supports both one and two port impedance measurements. This one's a two port impedance measurement, so we're going to use S21 for the calculations. We're going to measure the stability margin, and you can see that the software went ahead and put two peaks on the screen. It would like to measure the passive one, but now we know that this is the one that's the stability. And we know that because we looked at the uh, impedance with the power off. And so there we go. And now we can place the markers. And maybe you can see that, but the screen says uh, 33 degrees of phase margin. So it was that simple. We measured the impedance, put the cursors, and that tells us we've got 33 degree phase margin. 